Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been gone for a while, but I'm not even going to get into it. Life has been really crazy lately. Um, but today I'm going to be doing a bedroom tour. I just recently moved into my own condo uh, with my mom actually, and it's been very exciting. It was kind of crazy and scary at first, but I finally just did it and I made my bedroom look amazing. I love it so much, it's like my dream bedroom. And I couldn't wait to share it with you guys. I'm going to be doing an entire condo tour, but I'm going to be doing my bedroom here separately. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. Okay, so when you close the door to my bedroom, um, I have a coat rack on the back of the door, which has just a couple of hoodies, a hat that I wear to the gym, um, and a towel because I take showers. Um, if you hear rain, I'm really sorry. We're having some crazy storms today. August is a really crazy month for weather here in New Jersey. So right here I have this a seven drawer chest and this is from Pure One from the Hayworth collection. My boyfriend got me this for my birthday just last month and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I've wanted it forever. So right on top of the chest here, I have some pom-poms that I got off of Amazon and a picture of me the day of the Flyers Ice Girls auditions, which was about two weeks ago. I am officially a Flyers Ice Girl, so I have my little setup here to remind me um, because it's really exciting and I was really excited to become a part of the team. So I'm not going to get super into my drawers or anything, but I am a big fan of the KonMari method, so I'll probably show you guys a little bit of that. Um, and here I just keep bras, um, pantyhose and stuff, workout tops, sports bras, and then the bottom two are swimsuits. So I'm sorry if it's like a little bit dark over here, there's not much light in this part of the bedroom. Um, but over here I have my tall IKEA mom dresser. And this I got last year and I'm really happy that I bought it. It's a very nice dresser. It was a pain in the neck to put together. My boyfriend had to put it together for me and I feel really bad for him. I have this mirror up here that I got I think at Home Goods, and it's really pretty. It looks kind of like vintage. Up on top of my dresser I just keep this earring organizer which I got off of Amazon which I think is really awesome because you just hang all your earrings on there and it's clear so it doesn't really take away from the aesthetic of the room and then over here I have this little um, like necklace holder I got this at Michaels and then I have this little ring dish which is probably like from Home Goods or Burlington Burlington Coat Factory whatever you want to call it just has my watches and a bracelet and I have this little heart dish, which I think I got at Target in the little dollar spot. And that just has some rings on there as well. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a closer look at this earring holder because it's really cool. I will link this down below. So as far as my drawers go, like I said, I'm very into the Conmary method. I have lived by her ways for a few months now and I've absolutely loved it. It keeps me interested in what clothes I already have. Um, so like in this top drawer here, these two are socks and underwear while well, that rain is really loud. Like I said, it's dark over here, but I just keep my jeans and shorts in here. In this one, I have my leggings, my pajamas, t-shirts, and I just think this is a really great way to organize your clothes, like a file cabinet, because you can see everything you have. So this one I have sweatpants, and in the bottom I have all of the rest of my hoodies that aren't hung up. So when you go right next to my dresser, I have an oscillating fan that's right here because this side of my condo gets so hot, and um, I have blackout curtains, but it really just doesn't stay that cool in here during the daytime, so I have my fan in case it gets warm in here. So this is my absolute favorite part of my room. This is an Ikea vanity setup that I've wanted for a super long time. And I finally was able to get it and it was just kind of my treat to myself for getting my own place. And I'm absolutely in love with it. It's the best purchase I think I've ever made. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you guys around. So just above my vanity right here, I have this gold framed calendar whiteboard that I just got at Target recently. And I think it's really nice because I can write down when my bills are due and uh, if I have meetings or whatever, just so I don't forget anything because I am kind of forgetful. But I think this was like $10 at Target and it was definitely a nice purchase and I think it fits really nicely in the bedroom. So on top of my vanity, I have my Impressions vanity mirror, which I've also wanted for years and years and I finally decided to buy it for myself uh, on Black Friday last year. And I absolutely love it. It is incredible. Um, so right now I have it on a lower setting. 
uh, but you can turn it off with the switch, turn it on, you can dim it or make it really, really, really bright. Um, and then it also has two outlets on the side and I can plug my phone in there, my curling iron, whatever I need. And then sitting here on my mirror, I have my Victor and Rolf perfume. Which so on top of my vanity here, I have the Victor and Rolf flower bomb uh, little box. And this is full of beauty sponges that are new. So whenever I need to switch one out, they are right in there. So I have this little makeup brush holder, which I got, I believe at TJ Maxx. And I thought it was really cute. It's like pink and gold. And I only have some of my makeup brushes in here because my makeup bag is currently in my car with my makeup brushes. I have my all-time favorite Bath & Body Works candle, Cinnamon Spice Vanilla. And then my other two favorites are Vanilla Bean Noel, which I have over there, and Marshmallow Fireside. Ooh, Marshmallow Fireside might be my favorite, but for now, I'm enjoying Cinnamon Spice Vanilla. I can use it year-round, and it just makes sense. And here I have a little vase, which... I got with flowers from a friend and the flowers are actually fake flowers off of Amazon. I thought these were really pretty so I will link them down below if you're interested. So you can see me with my tripod in my little mirror. <laughs> but this mirror is also really awesome. My boyfriend got me this for Valentine's Day. We're not big Valentine's Day people but he did get me a gift so thanks babe. Um, but it's the iHome makeup mirror. It has Bluetooth speaker in it, which is awesome when you're getting ready to play your phone on the speaker. Um, and then it also lights up, which is really cool. So I love that mirror. Okay, and then right next to my mirror, I have a little mirrored tray, which I've had since I was in high school. And I just love that thing. It's really cute. It has some of my sunglasses, some of my perfumes, and just a few of my favorite lotions. I will actually show you what my favorite lotions are. So my favorites are the Twisted Peppermint from Bath & Body Works that ameliorates um, like skin smoothing lotion. It's really expensive, it's from the UK, but it gets rid of those little bumpy things that you get on the back of your arm. Um, and then I have my Bondi Sands uh, Tanning Milk and then this, what is this called? This Shea Moisture coconut and hibiscus body lotion. This stuff smells incredible and it's an amazing lotion. I also have one of my favorite perfumes here, the Charlotte Tilbury, my Ariana Grande perfume, and I have a Decan Y, uh, what is it called? Be Tempted. And that one I'm not in love with, but it's still pretty good. So I'll just quickly show you what's in these drawers. Most of my makeup, like I said, is in my makeup bag in my car, so I don't really have that much in here right now. But these drawers, I believe, are the Alex drawers from Ikea. And then I just have this um, tabletop that is also from Ikea. I bought it off of somebody on Facebook Marketplace because they were getting rid of it and it was brand new and it was way cheaper than I at Ikea. But the setup is from Ikea and a lot of YouTubers have this exact setup. Um, so in the top drawer, I just keep a washcloth. This is where I usually store my beauty blender. I have my contacts, deodorant, I keep my toners in here, they're not all in here right now. Um, over here I keep skincare like sunscreen and oils, retinol cream, I have my jade roller, a little portable fan, all my face masks, teeth whitening stuff are in there. And then in here is where all of my face makeup usually is and like I said, none of it is really in here at all. And then this is my eye drawer. Uh, it's pretty sparse right now. I don't wear a lot of eye makeup, but I do have my Candy Johnson Too Faced palette, my Tartelette palette, a couple of eyeliners, some lashes. In this little cup from the dollar section at Target, I keep most of my lip liners and liquid lipsticks. A lot of them are in my purse. In this one, I keep like travel size lotions, perfumes, more extra beauty sponges, more of my favorite lotions, some shimmer lotions, another face mask. And in the bottom, I keep like my makeup bags, my dry erase markers. I don't know what it's called, but the little rolly thing for when your muscles are sore. I love that thing so much. So this is like a pretty tight area back here, but I'll just quickly show you. In here is all of my hair stuff, this whole side. So in here I keep hair clips and like makeup headbands hair brushes, hair clips. How cute is this wet brush I just got? I love that. Uh, in here 
I have all of my favorite hair products. A few of my favorite hair products I'll show you quickly. The Unite uh, 7 Seconds Detangler. I'm obsessed with this Wow Dream Coat for curly hair. I also love this It hairspray. I love a bunch of hair products. I can do a whole separate video on hair products. Um, I have my curling irons, flat irons in here. And in the bottom, I have a couple of my blow dryers. So here I have my vanity chair, and this is also something I wanted for a really long time. It's a white faux leather rolling chair from Ikea, and I've wanted this since I was probably in middle school. They've had this chair for a super long time, and I finally bought it for myself uh, probably a year or two ago. And I just have this fluffy pillow, which I got um, at Kohl's. So over here I have my bed, and my dog is completely sprawled out on the bed. He's not really supposed to be on the bed, but I let him sometimes because I'm a good mom. Um, but I have this tufted headboard with the crystals. I'm not sure if you can see them. Uh, this is from, I believe from overstock.com. I've had it for years. It's also a bed frame. It also goes all the way around the bottom if you can see that. I zoomed you guys in a little bit so you can see. This is my bedspread from TJ Maxx. I love that it has like the texture. I always like a white bedspread, but I, I like it to be interesting and not just plain white. Um, I have these two pink velvet pillows, which are really soft. These are from Burlington Coat Factory. And then there's my dog. <laughs> He's taking a nap. I also have this super soft, almost sort of velvety blanket, which is from Home Goods, And I just bought it this week, so I know they definitely still have that. I almost completely forgot to show you guys my nightstand. So my nightstand is also the mom nightstand from Ikea. Um, I really like it. It was a pain in the neck to build. I just finished building it yesterday and it's taking me like a couple weeks working at it a little bit each day. Uh, it probably would have taken somebody else less time, but I am super ADD when it comes to stuff like this. Um, so it's just two drawers and I don't really have anything in here because I just built it. Um, but right now I just have my sound machine in there. Well, on top of my nightstand, I have my Philips alarm clock, which I bought off of Amazon. This thing is amazing. I'm really glad I bought it. It wakes you up with artificial sunlight slowly rather than waking you up with some loud beeping sound. I think this is way more natural and way nicer to wake up to. Um, and then I have this really awesome feather lamp I got at Home Goods and it has this gold base to it. It's really, really pretty. I get so many compliments whenever my family comes over. Um, and it's just really pretty. I love this pink color, this like dusty pink, if you guys haven't noticed that. Um, you can also probably tell the tag is still on it because I was kind of unsure if I was gonna keep it at first, but I love it, it's definitely staying. But seriously, how pretty is that? It's a little bit more pink in person, but I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So this is the only window that I have in my bedroom. It's a double window. It's really big. I love it. But a lot of sunlight gets in here. It gets very warm. I get direct sunlight in this room. So I got these blackout curtains off of Amazon, which are a really nice pink color. And then for when I don't want to be in the dark, I got these really cute pom-pom curtains, which are from Home Goods. So over here I have my desk and this is also the Ikea Mom collection. It has a really nice glass tabletop and a big drawer for fitting whatever you want to put in there. It would also make a great vanity if you're trying to save some money and not get the big old vanity because that vanity is also like six feet long. So it's really nice, but if you're not super into that, this would be a better alternative. Um, so up here I have this really pretty Ikea lamp. Um, like I was showing you <clears throat> so over here I have this really pretty Ikea lamp and I like that it's like a glass bowl and not like a traditional lamp I thought it was really pretty um, I have the vanilla bean Noel candle from Bath and Body Works and it is smoking really bad so I need to cut the wick but other than that I love the smell of this candle and then right here I will show you guys this is really cute I think I got this idea off of Pinterest so I basically got this glass um, thing, I don't know what this is called, from Ikea. And then I got a fake rose and I put it in there to make it look like the Beauty and the Beast rose. How cute is that? I have my iMac here. This is where I edit YouTube videos, watch YouTube videos, and I also, if you haven't noticed, don't have a TV in here. So I do watch Netflix and Philo on here, YouTube TV, whatever I feel like watching. Um, and then I have my mouse pad and my keyboard cover, which are from Amazon. 
Um, I have my camera case back here. I keep all of my gel pens, pens and pencils, all of that sort of stuff in these cute little Target uh, dollar spot little cup thingies. So I have this mason jar here, which was from my prom. We filled these up with candy as a kind of like goodie bag, but I use it as a change jar. And then I have these fake Gucci shoes, which I had gotten off of Ally Express. Really great purchase. They're a little bit too small for me, but I will still wear them. But I thought they were really cute as decoration. Um, these were a pair of Gucci shoes. I wanted for a really long time, but I don't wear real suede or leather, so. These were a great alternative, even though you should not buy illegal stuff. And then right over here, I have this really pretty Barbie calendar. I just love all of the pictures that are in here. And I don't really use this calendar because I have the big one over there, but it's cute to keep on my desk. Um, I have a milkshake that I just made. Um, and I have a rose gold straw. Always use reusable straw. And my big drawer there is just packed full of stuff right now. I usually have it organized, but since I moved, I just haven't been able to get to that yet. So I will get back to organizing that very soon. Um, and then underneath of my desk, I have this little unicorn box. If you can see down there, um, a binder. I have my printer over there, my, lo my old laptop, and a pair of slides that I use when I take the dog outside. Then I have this really pretty baby pink velvet stool, which I got at Home Goods. So I did forget to show you guys my rugs. These are from Home Goods. They're big and pink and fluffy. They were a little bit more fluffy when I got them, but from moving and using them and whatever, they've gotten a little sad, but I try to keep good care of them. And I'll spin you around here. I also have this long one that goes alongside my bed. They were a little bit pricey, but not that bad for rugs. So finally for the part that most of you have probably been waiting for is my closet. So this is probably one of my favorite closets I've had in my whole life. I had a really big master closet when I was in high school, but it wasn't like as nicely set up as this one. Um, and then when I lived in my recent house, I really didn't have a closet. It was very tiny, so I had all of my stuff on racks, if you've seen in my previous videos. So it really wasn't functional, but now I like that all of my stuff is in one place, except for my winter clothes are put away in a container. But let's just get into it. So I have these doors that open up on either side, which I really like. I'm glad I don't have those like sliding doors. I hate those on closets. I feel like you can't really see what you have. Um, but I absolutely love this closet. When I first moved in, it only had this one bar that's really high up. And I'm 5'10", so that's really high. So I had my lovely boyfriend <laughs> install this second bar. And it's honestly been a lifesaver. I have way too much clothes to go on one bar. Um, but I have like everything in here. This is mostly just summer clothes right now. Um, I have from crop tops to tank tops. Uh, shirts, blouses, quarter sleeve, long sleeve, kimonos, and then I have a little section of clothes for my Nordstrom haul. Um, and then down here I have my vintage clothes, I have my maxi dresses, um, all my dresses here, rompers, jumpsuits, skirts, maxi skirts, and then all of my pants that need to be hung up are in here. So I'll actually show you guys a few of my favorite pieces in my closet. So right now I've really been loving these tops. I forget what they're called. I know what they're called, but I can't remember. But I thought this is really cute. It's from Boohoo. I can't wait to wear this. I just think it's really pretty and nice for summer. I really love this pink crop top that I have from Forever 21. Really cute and girly. I have this really cute top I got from um, Plato's Closet. It's actually Abercrombie & Fitch. I love shopping secondhand. It's good for the environment and for your wallet. This J. Crew top there. Let's see. I really love this blouse that is from Nordstrom. I got this really cute leopard t-shirt off of Amazon recently. I have, like I said, a bunch of Nordstrom sale clothes in here. You guys are going to die over these because I know I died over them. Um, so one of my favorite dresses is this vintage Christmas dress. I just recently got it off of Poshmark from LA Retro Girl. She has really cute stuff. Um, and it has the little Santa with the sleigh on there. I can't wait to wear this for Christmas. I absolutely love it. I really love this strawberry dress I got off of ASOS. 
Um, it's Pretty Little Thing. It's actually really nice for being Pretty Little Thing. My boyfriend loves this dress also, which is a bonus. I got this really pretty one recently off of Boohoo. Hey, I love all of my clothes, but those are some of my favorites. Um, just off to the side here, you guys can't really see, but it's not that special. I have my robes, um, a couple scarves, and some jewelry and belts on this little hanging thing. So I'm not sure if I ever showed you guys in a past video how many shoes I used to have. I used to have, I think I totaled like 187 pairs of shoes. But I narrowed it down, I think I have under 80 pairs now, which is crazy that I did that, but... Hey, a little willpower and the Cone Marie season on Netflix will do you some good. But I love shoes. They're one of my favorite parts of being a girl. <laughs> it's just finding beautiful shoes. One of my favorite pairs I got recently were these um, INC brand from Macy's. These nude faux patent leather pumps. They're really nice. I got this pair recently in my Nordstrom haul. You will see them. Um, let's see, I love wedge sneakers, so I have like this pair from Aldo. Um, I have these really pretty Steve Madden little wedge um, like sandals. Um, I honestly love shoes. I could do a whole shoe collection one day because I have some of the most incredible shoes that I am just in love with. Um, so let me know if you guys want to see that. I'll probably do it even if you don't want to see it. So let me know. So that is my bedroom. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you watched all the way to the end of the video, please give this video a thumbs up so I know that you watched all the way through. Um, but yeah, that's my entire room. I absolutely love it. Like I said before, I bought everything with my own money and it just feels good to like have your own space that's yours. Uh, if you have your own place, you know what I mean. That's everything. Look forward to my Nordstrom anniversary sale haul coming soon. And I'm going to do a tour of the entire condo. So those are two videos you guys can definitely look forward to. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day, an amazing weekend, whenever you watch this. Uh, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.